Oh, hi there. You're probably wondering who I am. No, my name isn't Sam Fisher. My name is Evil Imp. For those of you who are not familiar with my channel, I have been making these movie trailers and little movies within Animal Crossing New Horizons. I am currently working on a longer movie, which I will tell you more about in this video. But first of all, I just wanted to thank all of you people for watching my videos, for all of your positive comments. I read all of them. When I first started this channel, I didn't think very many people would watch my content, but now after about five months, we have uh, 50,000 subscribers. That is just insane. Thank you all so much for your support. Uh, Hopefully nobody unsubscribes after this video. So a month ago, I asked all of you to send me some questions about my videos or just, you know, anything so we could get to know each other a little bit better through this Q&A. And now I'm going to answer some of those questions right here. Is there an Evil Imp cinematic universe? Yes, there is. Um, I think the EICU, which is what you all call it, is a really cool name that you gave for my movies that is just like so makes me feel so like, I don't know, like cool. It makes me really happy that you all care so much about the characters and these stories. Yes, to answer your question, there is an EICU and it currently consists of the first six trailers and that is what my upcoming movie is based on. Why do you make spooky videos? I mean, I love them, but I want to know. Good question. I don't know. Like ideas for scary things just come more naturally to me. And I just, I just love horror so much. Sometimes, sometimes when I can't go to sleep, I just have to think about scary things like, like a monster under my bed or a demon staring at me from my closet. It's just like very comforting to me and it helps me fall asleep. How do you plan the trailers and movies? Making storyboards? I do make storyboards. I keep an idea journal of any ideas that come to my mind, and then I plan out my shots with a combination of drawing them and, you know, going to Harv's Island and taking some photos and sort of just compiling that into like a sheet. Uh, for my upcoming movie though, I do have an outline that I have been keeping up. It's just an outline of the story and a general idea of where I want the dialogue to go. I say out Line because it's not like a full screenplay. Most of the time I'm just planning it as I go since I actually don't really know what I'm doing most of the time. Usually when I write stuff down I rarely ever go back to look at my notes because I find that the good ideas are the ones that you remember. If I have to go back and remember what I was thinking or what my idea was, it probably wasn't a good idea. But just to show you guys, this is a uh, lovely storyboard I did for my first horror movie trailer. Uh, you can see my beautiful masterpiece of Pietro. See, the movie trailers have something saying, but the field trip, why you make field trip? Is this a spoiler? Field trip, okay, so that is not a spoiler. Uh, I just really like that song and I wanted to make something more fun and different, but you know, I actually, I don't really remember making that video. What are some games you enjoy other than AC? Uh, what are some of your favorite games ever? So I actually don't consider myself to be a gamer. Pre-COVID, I like rarely ever played, uh, games. And if I did, it would be games like Super Smash or Mario Kart and that would just be playing with friends and I am not good at either of those games. But that being said, my favorite game ever is probably Pokemon. <gasps> I think it's the only game that I am good at. I've played a game from like every generation and my favorite Pokemon are Staryu and Starmie. I feel like I'm supposed to say that Ghost and Dark type are my favorite Pokemon, but in this case, Water Pokemon are the best. I am terrible at video games. I probably spend like 99% of the time screaming and then giving up. But I mean, if you 
want to see me play other games, let me know in the comments. I can't guarantee you that I will be good at any of them, but let me know what you think I'll like. Will you ever make a really long movie, like an hour long, when they get out of purgatory? Okay, so yes, I, I keep saying movie, but the movie is going to be like a TV series, um, since it's going to be separated into at least four parts. I am aiming for a total runtime of around an hour. Why is your name Evil Imp? I wanted to create a name that sounded kind of edgy because I strive to be an edgelord, but we all know that's not gonna happen. I also wanted to make a name that I wouldn't regret. So far, so good. But my name was inspired by one of my favorite artists ever. Her name is Grimes. She has a digital avatar named War Nymph, and when she introduced us to her, I thought she was just so cool and i wanted to make a character in a similar vein and an imp is essentially a mischievous demon and i find it to be my spirit animal also i am obsessed with villains <laughs> which is why i wanted to be an evil imp it just makes me feel like I don't know, I just feel so powerful with this name. <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, I love matcha and birthday cake ice cream. Um, not together. Why do most of the human villagers in your trailers not have names? If they do have names, please tell me. They do have names and they are... I would like to know your top 5 horror movies. By the way, I love your videos. Greetings from Mexico. My top 5 horror movies would be Hereditary, Midsommar, Get Out, Carrie, and then Rosemary's Baby. Now I was kind of hesitant putting Rosemary's Baby on this list, but you know so many people worked on this movie and it is a really good movie. I don't think it's fair to cancel something based on one person. It's not fair to everyone else who worked on the movie. It is a work of art. It is one of my top five, but Roman Polanski. How many bells do you owe to Tom Nook? I'm guessing because you have to make movie trailers for a living. I don't actually owe Tom Nook any bells because I sold my soul to him. <laughs> See, what things are you interested in outside of Animal Crossing? Any games or hobbies? I love hiking, I love reading, I love writing, I love drawing, improv and going to the movie theater, and I love traveling. Many of these things we cannot do anymore. How long does it take to make a mini movie or trailer? You know, it depends. The first trailer I made took me the shortest time to edit. I think it was around like three to four hours. Footage from that was like a combo of things I shot specifically for the trailer and you know some footage that I had just recorded while building my island. But for a trailer like Mermaid Crossing, that took at least a week for me to get all of the pirate and mermaid items and maybe like five to six hours to edit. You know sometimes I will shoot something and then edit it and then just like absolutely hate it. So I have like many variations of videos that I have buried on my computer somewhere and some ideas that have never made it above ground. Why is Gruff in your town? Because I love him. He is a goat. He is the greatest of all time and he is a fashion icon. How do you come up with these stories in your movie trailers? So a lot of the times the items in the game will influence my stories. The story of Mermaid Crossing came about when I thought that Golivar and Pascal would be like the greatest enemies of all time. And it sort of became this like Little Mermaid meets Pirates of the Caribbean type movie. And then Pocket Camp, Pocket Camp is basically a homage to Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. So if you want to see the movie for Pocket Camp, then go watch Moonrise Kingdom. It is one of the best movies of all time. Do you have any favorite directors and have you had any real life filmmaking experience in the past? My favorite directors from the past few years include Ari Aster. He is my everything. 
Damien Chazelle, I like Edgar Wright, Bong Joon-ho, Parasite was so good, and Greta Gerwig. You know, I love artists that write and direct their own movies. I think they are just incredible. As far as filmmaking experience goes, I, I have had some. I studied film and advertising in college. I lived in LA for almost a year and I had to move back to Texas early this summer due to the pandemic. When I was in LA, I was doing everything I could to get a stable job in the business. I had some terrible production assistant jobs. I was going to auditions, I was doing freelance on the side, and I even did a fair share of uh, background acting. I just love every aspect of filmmaking, from writing to performing to cinematography and you know I would like to make my own movies someday but you know it was already hard as it is and now it is even more difficult but hopefully film isn't dead. Please I want to hear about your Animal Crossing history. Have you played the other games in the series? Which ones? If so. And my first Animal Crossing game was New Leaf. Um, I named my village Hellside and I played Pocket Camp for like about a week, but then I made myself uninstall it because I got too addicted to it. Do you have a second Animal Crossing Island? I mean, having an island for both photography and the enjoyment of the actual game seems hard to do. I don't have a second island, uh, that would be nice. I recently tore down part of my island so I could start filming things there. I love your work, man. I wonder where you find the music and audio effects that you use in your videos. Could you please tell us that? Uh, yeah, YouTube has a free music studio to download copyright free music and sound effects. And I also use this program called Loop Cloud, but that is a paid monthly service. Let's see, what do you use to film and edit with? I'm interested in trying my hand at making short films and Animal Crossing as well. Love your videos, keep up the good work. Thank you. Um, yeah, go for it. Go go make your movies. Um, I use a capture card to record my videos. It, I use the Elgato HD60S, and to edit, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Have you noticed that I went to your island in the dream? <laughs> I went in Animal Crossing. Um, I did notice. I can still hear you screaming. Six feet below my island. Will you marry me? Wow, uh, yes, yes. Oh my God, I will marry you. It will be the best and the last day of your life. How many people involved in making these amazing movies, including work on the video after it's been shot in the game? Okay, so 98% of the time it is just me. I shoot and edit everything myself. And if you see like multiple characters in a scene, they are all me, I'm just using the call Resident services feature. There are a few key scenes where my friend Gretchen came to my island to help me film because I could not have done those without her. Marshall asks, do you cook humans? Well, Marshall, I do not cook humans, but I do cook squirrels. I want to know how old Mr. Evil Imp is. Uh, first of all, Mr. Evil Imp is my father. And second of all, I am 26 years dead. I'm late, but this is just, 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 just question. Is it okay for people to make videos inspired by yours? Would you feel uncomfortable with people getting inspired by you? Um, no, no, absolutely not. Uh, I love seeing other people's work, and especially if you get inspired by me. It's very flattering, and it makes me feel awesome. All right, that is it for this Q&A. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't answer every question, but I am going to start live streaming soon, so hopefully we can all chat there. Also, my memberships are now live if you want to join Purgatory and get cool behind the scenes content of my past and upcoming videos. Come join me. It's going to be fun. I'm going to go back to working on my movie and I will talk to you all later. Bye!